Hey guys, how you go how's it going? My name's Howie Venom, and today we're gonna be doing something different. It's gonna be cool, and I want what what we're gonna be doing actually is um, solving a three by three. We're not gonna be solving four by four this video. We're gonna be solving a three by three. And so let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Put that one there, and bam. Sorry, we gotta. There we go. All right, so here we go. I got a Rubik's cube here. We're gonna solve it because. Um, for a really long time, I used to be able to solve this in under like 20 seconds or something. I'm sorry, this probably sounds terrible and I apologize. But um, this is going to be a short video because I just, um, unfortunately, I am really tired and I have to, this is the only thing I can think of that I can actually do that might be a little bit interesting. And so uh, it's going to be fun. But I wanted to kind of explain at the same time as I'm solving this, but I also want to do something pretty cool. Like, uh, um, I'm not going to look at it as much as possible. Like, I'm going to um, look at it as little as possible. <clears throat> okay, but here we go. Um, so what I'm seeing, I got a red right there, a green there, that's already in place. Um, blue and orange. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the red in place, then the blue and the orange at the same time. So there we go, we got the white cross. Okay, what next? Um, corners. I'm putting the corners into place. The, red, gr the green and red corner is now in place. And now we're going to put in the orange and green corner because that seems like the logical next step. It was the next one I found. Now we're going to put in the orange and blue corner right there, orange and blue. And now finally we're going to put in the red and blue because it is the final uh, corner. And now the white side is solved. And I know there are easier ways to do that, that, that you can solve it quicker, but I just prefer doing it that way because it seems easier. We are going to solve this middle layer now. Um, I just put red and blue into place like that it's supposed to. We'll go ahead and put into place uh, orange and blue. So now we got all the way across blue. Um, now we'll go ahead and put in place green and orange. All right, all right, it's in place, as you can tell. Uh, uh, green and orange, green and orange. And we should have only one more piece left, which is the red and green. So it is back into place right there. Now we have the entire second layer solved. Now we need to move on to the top layer. And this layer is a little bit different because it's not like the same. Um, or, well, obviously. Um, you gotta, you just keep uh, doing really similar moves until you get what you want. And then you do the move one more time. And then you do that. <laughs> right there, basically. And um, you, since we have this, we're going to put this on the back. And a really long combination. Bam. Oh, and it's solved. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to solve it that quick. Oh, Lord. But, um, yeah, this is a really short video, and I apologize. But um, I just kind of wanted to prove it because there are some people out there that didn't believe me. So, little known fact, how Venom can solve a Rubik's Cube, a 3x3, and a 4x4. I just don't have time for a 4x4, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, very short video. It's only like five, less than five minutes long. But, hey, it'll be very good for you guys because you guys don't have to watch for very long. Um, but once again, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Once again, thank you all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.